Hey everybody, how you doing today? Uh, I'm sure you guys seen the, the silver and gold prices go down uh, today because the markets have uh, significantly pulled back again from all of the developments happening over the weekend, a lot of school shutdowns and so on. So um, that was to be expected. Um, and usually these are what you would call overreaction, but uh, the Fed um, cut the interest rate to zero basically, right? So um, now what do we do here with these prices? And I was going to do a, a quick video showing you guys uh, uh, some deals for Silver Eagles uh, on eBay, but those are all gone. Uh, I'm going to show you here. I have lowest to highest, and these are all like auction, you know, um, from regular people. And then usually there's like a, a Liberty, uh, what's this, Liberty Coins or a Pinehurst or somebody would be selling them, right? Uh, and I happen to see one for like 350 bucks a roll okay and it happened to be this one here by pinehurst um 348 per roll and they sold out 130 uh, 1039 rolls sold out uh relatively fast because there's a huge demand for silver eagles right now when you go to your bullion dealer sites online uh most of them do not have silver eagles anymore Here's Golden State Mint, thinking this would be a great price, as low as 1692 out of stock, out of stock, right? JM Bullion has it for around $18, $19, um, so it's not the best price. Um, 1966, so they haven't really changed their premium to adjust to the, um, uh, the spot price, right? So I'm like, okay, so JM Bullion didn't change their price. And so I'm like, let me check Atmex here. And they didn't change their price or maybe they raised the price. Um, it looks like, um, you know, 1945 uh, as low as 649 a coin. So um, it says 1945, but I'm like, what's all this, right? So I don't know what's going on. Maybe they just stopped it at 1945, but still... That's like seven dollars over spot, seven or eight bucks over spot. So, uh, not the best best prices here. So, what we can do is head on over to Silver Gold Bull, and they have around um, seventeen fifty, seventeen forty six. That's better. It's still not the greatest. It's like five bucks over spot, but you can get a roll for seventeen forty six each. And I believe Silver Gold Bull does not charge sales tax. And they normally offer silver at spot, uh, silver bars, but uh, they did not change their price back down to what it's supposed to be. It's supposed to be like 12 something, right? Um, 126 or something like that. So they didn't update their price on their silver at spot deal anymore. And like, I don't know if they're going to have it or not, but... Um, this one's 150, you know, so I guess this one is the cheaper one. So um, I'll leave a link for the Silver uh, Eagle on Silver Gold Bowl. And just keep in mind, this is a random year and not a 2020. Uh, most of those are gone. So let's take a look at the markets and what we could um, uh, monitor going forward here. Um, uh, let's look at, take a look at SLV which is at $12 right now and it opened around 11 something yeah, 1183 so um if you're just looking to trade it and just make profit with silver um you can buy SLV and just wait it out and see how it goes uh if you look at the one month chart it was as high as 17 and if you're buying at 12 you know, maybe it'll go back to 14, 15 and make a little bit of gain that way. Um, you can also look at uh, a leveraged uh, silver ETF. Um, this is called the USLV. And this was, I'm going to take a one-year chart here, uh, as high as 132 um, when it was really bullish, when silver was really going up. And I think it hit like 19 last year. So uh because silver went down to 12 or even 11 um this this thing went down the tubes right it went from 70 all the way down to 28 
And I think even in pre-market, it was like low 20s or something like that. So it's down 36%. Uh, could there be more downside? Mm, probably uh, minimal downside now going forward, but you can just kind of watch it. And if you have a uh, not short but not long term, um, you could uh, consider um, buying this and see if it goes back up to from 28 to like 40 or something like that. Okay, so that you bet you'll get a better return than SLV, but this is going to be up and down volatile. So just keep that in mind. Now on the flip side, you could take a look at DSLV. Um, this uh, goes up when silver goes down and it's up 36% today. Uh, let's take a look. This is a one month chart. So uh, February 18, it was $15 and then it took a little jump up to 19, 18, 19, right? And then it kind of stayed steady for a while because silver stayed pretty much the same price. So it was trading you know, around two, two points, you know, somewhere from 15 to 18, somewhere around there. And then when we started hearing more of the bad news, uh, silver started to sell off like gold and then it went to 21. And I'm sure a lot of people cashed out here, but um, those who kind of stuck it out, uh, we, saw, we heard more news uh, of you know the the planes uh, closing from Europe, uh, and then uh, over the weekend uh, we had the Fed cut the rates to zero, school closings, and even some restaurants and bars uh, have restrictions on how many people they can have. And um, so this jump today from uh, 26 to 35. So those of you who are watching this and are nifty with trading, you know if you're good with trading. You could make some money uh, with the movement of precious metal prices because you're always watching it, right? So um, if you make the money here, you know, obviously you have to pay capital gains tax and everything, but you can use that money towards buying more silver. And it doesn't have to be silver eagles. It could be silver rounds or other things that we normally um, like to buy, especially at uh, good prices. I don't know if we're going to get good prices now because... There's so much demand for silver that um, we just really can't do much uh, about the premiums for the moment. So I will have the links for all of these um, uh, silver kind of ETFs uh, uh, down in the description, along with the silver gold bull, uh, silver eagle listing, because that seems to be the best one that I can find right now. Um, and I'm also going to list, uh, list a link down below for any of you who are interested in trading like this, you know, because you're following silver and gold prices so much, there's a way to uh, profit off of the movement of silver and gold uh, by trading these ETFs. So I'm going to uh, leave a link to a, um, a trading platform called Robinhood, which you can put on your phone and um, uh, trade easily. Um, you can open up an account for free. There's no uh, commissions, no, no charges. Uh, uh, of any kind, whether you buy or sell, um, except for like some type of like SEC commission, which is like a couple of pennies here and there. But uh, you'll be able to do that with Robinhood. Um, I'm sure some of you already heard it. So I'm going to leave a link down below. And, and just as a, um, you know, uh, open, open disclosure that if you do use the link down below, uh, I will get a free stock. And if you also join within 24 hours, uh, you will also get a free stock, something like that. And Usually the stock is like three, four bucks. It's like a really cheap stock, but you just get it for free. That's how they kind of get you in. Um, so I just started Robinhood uh, not too long ago and I got like a $3 stock and I have a little money in it. So I'm trying to trade uh, um, some of these stocks uh, along with the movement of gold and the markets and, you know, silver as well. And uh, even other things, you know, any other stock that you want to trade, you can do with Robinhood. All right. So thanks for watching. Uh, if you're brand new to the channel, uh, please hit the subscribe and notification button. And oh yeah, uh, I am also going to have links to the CCT slide is back in stock. I just got the shipment from CCT uh, a day or two. Uh, maybe it was yesterday or the day before. And I haven't opened the box yet. So I'm assuming they're all going to be um, uh, the budget slide that you see on the screen here. Um, for those of you who, know, who don't know what this is, it's basically a a uh, fake silver coin tester where you slide the coin down here and if it's fake it'll either stick onto the surface 
because there's a mag strong magnet underneath or it will slide down really fast because it will not stick at all. So I will leave a link down below for the CCT slide uh, in the description area. So anyone who wants to pick this up, uh, you're welcome to do so. All right. So I think that's it. Um, if you have any comments or question about what's going on in general, uh, you can leave them down below and I'll get back to you guys as soon as possible. And I will see you guys in the next video. Thanks.